Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to be talking about how to engage with a graduate chapter. This is for people who are in the process of expressing interest and they don't know where to begin. If you need help in that area, then maybe this is a video for you, but keep watching and let me know what you think at the end. So if you guys haven't seen any of my videos related to grad chapter interest, I highly recommend pausing this video to take a look at my grad chapter do's and don'ts video. That video has probably been the most helpful for anyone who's interested in joining an organization and they just don't know where to start. But if you know where to start, if you know the do's and don'ts and you just don't know how to engage, then by all means resume this video. So if you haven't done this already, the one thing that I recommend doing is messaging the chapter. I say to message the chapter loosely because some organizations do not approve of solicitation for membership and requesting or letting the chapter know that you're interested could be seen as solicitation for membership. But I feel like there are certain ways that you can word that so that it doesn't come off as solicitation. I do have sample emails on my intake prep course for anyone who's interested in just getting just like starter emails then that would be available to you on there i'll link my courses in the description box but one thing that i recommend doing is the like i said messaging the chapter and you can message the chapter if you are new to the area or if you just want to introduce yourself and let them know who you are sometimes it's helpful to just message to be like hi my name is so and so i want to introduce myself to you guys because i live in this area blah 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 something like that. I don't have those emails on my intake prep course, but if you guys would like those emails, give me a thumbs up and I can include it in the prep course or I'll see what can be done. I don't know. Maybe I'll make a video about it. I don't know, but give me a thumbs up and we'll see what I can do. But introduce yourself. That would be a good thing because once you introduce yourself to the chapter, when you follow them on social media, they can put a face to the name from the email. So that would be my recommendation with that. One thing that I also say to people too who are interested in engaging in the chapter or they haven't or they don't know where to start with engaging in a chapter, when you message them or if you've already been in contact with them, ask them for opportunities to volunteer. Um, nine times out of ten, they will say yes, there's no problem with volunteering, or they'll tell you no because they don't have an event that's open to the public. But if their event is open to the public and they need hands, ask them if you can volunteer to help out or ask them if they are not allowing you to do public events. And by public events, I don't mean sorority specific events. I mean like community service events or um, fundraising events, things like that. The reason why I say that you can ask is because in my chapter that's occurred where not necessarily people are interested, but we would have like our family members, Philo's, Roars, they would be at those types of events assisting and then we'd have like younger people or other family members who are not necessarily affiliated with our organization they're just there and they can help. It depends on the chapter to be honest. It doesn't work for everybody but I just thought I would throw it out there for anybody who's just looking for something, some, some way to get involved with the chapter. Once you're past that messaging stage and you've already made contact with someone, you can ask for opportunities to learn more. And typically that will occur with someone who you've already made a connection with. I strongly recommend anyone who's interested in joining your grad chapter to just make a connection with someone, make a connection with at least two people if you can, so that if you need anything in the future, if you need a resource in the future, those people will be available to you. Sometimes you'll need a sponsor, sometimes you'll end up with a mentor, but if you can connect with someone in the chapter, do it if you can. I do have some videos also on my channel about how to connect via social media and I'll link that somewhere in this video or at the end for you guys. But if you have the opportunity to make a connection with somebody that you can use later or request information from later, that's something that I recommend doing too, just so that you can get the ball rolling with getting connected with other people in a chapter as well. If you're in the messaging stage and you just want someone to contact you or if you want to just be in the back of someone's mind, provide your information. Provide them with a way for them to contact you. You can provide your email, you can provide your phone number. I've had people provide their LinkedIn account, which for me is really helpful because I'm nosy. I want to look on your LinkedIn account, but that's just me. But provide your information so that they will have something to look into when they're looking through people who are emailing them, provide your information, provide some stuff about yourself. Um, those are probably the main things that I recommend doing just to 
get your feet wet with engaging in people. And if they don't engage, then just give us some time. I typically tell people it takes about one to two weeks for us to get through our emails, depending on what we have going on, the time of year, how busy we are, or even just the person manning the the emails they might be busy and haven't had a chance so give it one to two weeks two weeks max before sending a follow-up message to see if they got your message or to just reiterate that you wanted to introduce yourself or that you're interested in events opportunities community service things of that nature give us some time before you go in and message again but those are my main pieces of advice for anybody who's looking to engage if you're having issues with engagement or if you have any questions you can always put in the comment or message me i know people's situations are very specific to what they have going on or the chapter that they want to join so if this video doesn't provide in-depth information for those things you can always put it in the comment or you can always message me directly and we can see what what I can answer for you so other than that I hope that this information was helpful for you give me a thumbs up if you found it helpful and feel free to peruse through my other videos related to grad chapter I will link it in the description box or I'll link it at the end of this video for anybody who's interested but I hope that this information was helpful give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video bye